Hey everybody, it's Tony. Okay, so today uh, we're coming to uh, I'll show you where is it. Okay, down right here. Yes, yeah, see down back in South Africa. Coming to uh, about uh, I don't know from a little quartz mountain about ten miles away from the Namibian border. See it up there? See the border up there? We're just north of Springbok. See, uh, very dry out here. Anyway, one of these quartz mountains somewhere in here. But first, let's have a message from our uh, from our sponsor, courtesy of Al. Hey, Don, I'm out here walking down Ogden. I finally threw the timing belt on a Dodge like you told me it was going to happen, and I knew it was going to happen. You told me it was going to happen. I should have done it, would have, could have, should have. Now, here I am. I'm walking. I got to get to the train or something. I called about nine people. Nobody could pick me up. I'm going to have to get it towed. That's a buck fifty. Then I'm going to have to get the thing replaced, and, you know, who knows how that much is going to be. So I'm pretty hard up from that, you know. I just spent all this money getting the ticket off of it you know so I could drive it without crippling fear and now I got this going on so we're gonna have to crank out a couple two three more ads my apologies we're gonna do this here so I could get off Ogden Avenue and get to safety uh, Ren is a website where you could calculate your carbon footprint you go on there you take a lifestyle quiz they tell you all about what you're doing to put carbon into the atmosphere uh -huh. like that and then uh, and then uh, what they do is they calculate it for you and they tell you you know what what you what it's like uh, how you are compared to the world average compared to other people in the country you are and then they give you practical things that you could do to reduce your carbon footprint and then uh, uh, beyond that they let you pay for a subscription to do tree plantings and stuff and things that are gonna you know uh, you know offset the carbon footprint so okay Tom take care bye I gotta keep hoofing to make it to the train over there. I will right, we'll start off today at the bottom of this quartz hill with this weird bastard, Cua Sausaloides, the only genus in the family QAC, it used to be Malusionaceae, orders Caryophyllales right here. See those pink petals? Got your uh, little warty glands, warty uh, glands and trichomes on those mahogany sepals, mahogany stems. Got about a dozen stamens right there, top with the yellow anthers, and they got a green ovary in there. Odd about this plant is it's got anthocyanins. Okay, one of the few uh, members of Caryophyllales, it's got the anthocyanin pigment. See those succulent leaves? They give way for ordered Caryophyllales right there. Okay, now here's a weird fuck, okay? Remember the sunflower family, one of two species in the genus Didelta. This is Didelta carnosa, variety tomatosa. Got those three large triangular phyleries, and then a smaller series of phyleries on the inside right there, looking all spiny. Look at the uh, receptacle right here with those thistle-like uh, uh, brown uh, spines poking out. It's called an alveolar receptacle. The fruits are embedded in the receptacle. And then here's those folded succulent leaves, conduplicate leaves. Very odd for the sunflower family, Asteraceae. Look at all the damn quartz. Look at this. Look at this. You can bean someone in the head with that. Chisel something. I got a nice chiridopsis down there. Eyes away, she's bastard. Look at that. Like a little split tongue. How about that? Let's keep moving, stepping over these boulders right here. All this stuff. No weird shit going on. Look at this. God damn. Look at these weirdos. You got an adromiscus right there. Crassalacea. Looking like little duck feet. See that? Look like little duck feet with the red margin on those juicy succulent leaves. Ah. Oh. And right next to it, you got that chiridopsis again, a little split tongue, alternating pairs of two leaves. You like that crunchy shit when you walk? Oh, look at this, James Britannia. Ah, oh, look at this. Got an actinomorphic, a radially symmetrical corolla. Odd for order Lamiales, all right? Pollinated by proboscid flies. They got to stick their little proboscis in those tubes. Got your opposite leaves, okay? All right, consistent with order Lamiales. Woo! Look at the glands. Look at the trichomes in the glands. Look at that tube. Do you see the tube? You see the long floral tube nice? Huh? You gotta have a proboscis to get in there. Look at it. You can just barely see the, the anthers poking out. It's like a four stamens at two separate levels. You call that being the dynamis, okay? And a lot of members of Lamiales do that, okay? There's a lot of members of Plantagenaceae do that in North America, but you don't get Plantagenaceae down here in South Africa. Look at it, you can see his pollen sticking out there. Okay, so we'll just keep walking up the crunchy hill, looking at all the weird succulents and shit on the ground. All this weird stuff. Look at all the goddamn euphorbia. Look at that. Look at those guys. Okay, what we got down here? What we got down here? We got a crassula. 
Crassulaceae, namesake genus of the family Crassulaceae. Look at that inflorescence. Look at those tiny flowers. Okay? Red sepals, red stem. Just almost, almost blending in with the quartz. So diminutive. God damn. You see these things in habitat. It's a whole other thing from seeing them in a pot. See, they have more of that Crassula sericea. Look at that. Ah, these flowers are open. They're looking pretty good, those guys. Looking nice for the fly pollination. Nice. Let's step right over them. What else we got over here? Oh, we got more of that Euphorbia. Euphorbia dragiana. With fruits. Nice Tylocodon paniculatus right there. Also Crassulacea. Look at all this stuff. What a beautiful little rock garden, huh? Beautiful little wild rock gardens in Amaquiline. Oh, what you got in the back up there? You got some tree aloes? Some aloidendron? Ooh. Now, what the shit is this? Look at it. Like little fat fingers. Like little decussate uh, pairs of opposite little chubby fingers. There's the old inflorescence. Maybe it's a stoberia. Can't think of what else that could be. Let's see what else we got going on over here. Oh, there we go. Cotyledon. Crassulaceous bastard. Crassulaceous. Look at those pendant flowers. Bird pollinated flowers. There's those, uh, those opposite leaves with the red margin. A lot of these guys are poisonous. You don't want to go putting cotyledon in your mouth. There are quite a few cases of animals getting poisoned from eating this. Flip the flower up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those look at those yellow anthers poking out. Little uh, five lob style in there. And there's those leaves. Again, they got uh, some cardiotoxin. Look at this guy. Look at this. Scrofulariaceae again. Order Lamiales. So many cool scrofs in this area. Okay, so many cool scrofs in the Maquiland. Look at the foliage on it. It's so imbricate. Just coming up among the rocks. God, I love these scrofs. Love these winter rainfall desert scrofs. Six or seven species in this genus. Peleostome. Look at this old flower. Another tube. Another... Yeah, more of that uh, Didelta carnosa. Look at that. What a fucking weird receptacle. More Chiridopsis. This split tongue. Like little Mike and Ike colors. There's that fruit, see? These things open when they get wet. This is an old fruit, so the valves are gone. Look at all the locules in there. Got about 20 different little chambers, 20 different little locules. And the seeds are in those locules when they come out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now, here's an emblematic genus, okay? Genus of about seven species, Portulacaria. This is Portulacaria namaquensis. There's a range map up there. I'll put one in a, in a uh, video there. Look at this huge trunk on this, okay? A little bit east of here in the clan crew, you start to see Portulacaria afra, which is edible. They sell those in a home despot garden center, common horticultural plant. Looks like these, but the leaves are a little bit bigger, okay? Another member of order, Caryophyllales, with those uh, succulent, juicy, fascicled leaves and the betaline pigments, nice. Look at these guys, look at these guys. Anacampsaros. Anacampserotaceae. Just like little white sausages on the ground. How you do that? Covered in covered in trichomes, you got your little tubercles right there. Up he just flowered. Is that old flower stock? Looks like it. Got quite a few of them. Got your crassulas growing in the cracks too. Is that a crash? Yeah, it's a crassula. Crassulas and Isis, Isoaceas, Misems, growing right next to each other. Everyone still calls them Misems, but they're Isoaceae. That's the family they got put in now. With the betaline pigments, you know? You see that? You see the pinks in them and whatnot? Fucking beautiful weirdos. Beautiful weirdos. God, this is such a cool genus. These used to be called Avonia, and then they, then they threw them in Anacampsaros. All the Anacampsaros are weird. They're so tiny. The ones in the Maquiland, they're white and fuzzy. You go east of here, they're black. They got, uh, you know, just, just so much pigmentation. But either way, they just blend in. Look, it's just growing in the cracks. You'd never see these. Just adapted. All right, been through a lot of selection pressure, both in, in the form of herbivory and in the form of heat stress and uh, lots of exposure a very bright light all right but they're they're, they're kind of mimicking uh that quartz too see that that quartz backdrop look at that little uh, dongs 
This goddamn guy again. Look at these guys. Drimia. All right. Hyacinth, they say now Siloidia, commonly known as poison quills. This genus. Don't threaten me with a good time. Look at it. Look at those tiny little shits. I had not just tiny leaves. We seen them back down the road. Oh, look at this Conophytum. Ooh, Conophytum jucundum. Who can them? How the fuck you want to? How do you want to pronounce that? Little green eyes. I like Halloween decorations just staring at you from beneath their little rocky cracks and crevices. And asking you what the fuck you're doing here, huh? What are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> look, look at this. How could you not love Conophytum? What an incredible genus. Look at it. Look, and that slit is where next year's leaves will come out of. Almost looks like lithops, except the lithops, the slit goes all the way through the entire plant. Those are technically just two leaves. Two leaves. Looking like a little mouth ready to spit out. There's it, the Anacampsaurus again. Artist formerly known as Avonia. I love this fucking guy. I love it here. Just hiding out with that little papery sheath. Blending in with the quartz. Incredible. Just blend in. Do whatever you gotta do. Little juicy bastards. Look at that. Look at that. There's another one. See? They're everywhere. Gotta be careful where you step. And you just got these massive uh, dildo looking euphorbias. Incredible. A dildo or a cane. You see what you want to see. More of those uh, anacampsaros. You gotta love deserts. You gotta really give it to deserts. Deserts cause some wild shit to evolve. What a series of selection pressures. Look at it. Look, there's a little clump. There's a couple of them. Looks like some sort of damn papillose growth, okay? Never had them. Only seen pictures online, but, uh, you know, I get the gist. Look at this. Look at this composite. It's blue. Ah! Oh. Got blue ligules in there. Look at that. Just covered in trichomes. Mean filaries. It's like a, like a dark blue. I've never seen something like that. That shit is wild. Ah! It's just a Gorteria, but if it was open, I could, you know, maybe we could see more, but... Oh, look at this guy. This is nice over there. Look at that. Another me mesm. Look at it. Little juicy fingers. Huh? A woody mesm. Look at it, you got the sepals, you got the nice long peduncle, you got the sepals acting like a little vase. You get those pink petaloid staminodes. Spit that out. This is a fucking banger. This is a, oh my god. I need to find out what this is. No idea here. Where do you start with these? Tribe Ruchier, however you, however you uh, want to pronounce that. This family just never ceases to blow my mind. So species rich. Look at it. Ah. Oh. Another stinky composite, Osteospermum amplectans. Those leaves just covered in the glands. Some uh, purple striations on that uh, stem. Herbaceous, nodding uh, flower heads before they're uh, mature. Unless those, you know what? No, maybe those have. Maybe these have already been pollinated. Those might have already been pollinated. Ligulate. It's got the ligules. It's got the daisy rays. There's the phyllaries. God, it just, it really stinks. Oh, my God. The calendula tribe, man, they all stink. They all got the trichomes and the glanes. Look at the glanes. God, the fucking, the stench. It smells like, it smells kind of nice, but then it kind of smells like burning rubber, too. Another little composite. Look, lacy leaves. Again, glandular as hell. Very glandular. Very sticky, very stinky. Discoid heads with a bunch of little styles poking out. Probably got 200 little florets in there. 200 little individual flowers. Looks like something that would be very weedy in North America. But here, it's native. Now let's keep moving up, huh? Look at 
And then look, up here in the racks. Look at it. You got more, you got more of that, uh, formerly, the artist formerly known as Avonia, not Anacampsaros, Paparacea. Because he's all papery. What a weird little plant. What a weird little bastard. Look, there he is too, just coming up in a Rex. Oh, look at that, oh, look at that guy. The curly whirly leaves. He's just hugging the quartz. I've got a burning sensation in my eye now. I was dumb enough to rub my eye after touching one of those composites. And now it hurts. How about that? Who would have guessed? Seems like a pretty easy thing to surmise. I should have washed my hands off. What a jackass. And who doesn't love a good succulent geranium? Look at that, look at that stem. A succulent, a succulent juicy geranium stem. There's those fruits. Like little bird beaks poking out of the calyxes, just like a rhodium. And there's those flowers. The nice little pattern on the top two petals. What's it smell like? Does it got a fragrance? I bet so. Oh yeah, it does. It's not too bad, actually. As far as desert plants go, it doesn't stink too bad. And who doesn't love a nice little crassula? Look at that guy. Oh, I love your scales and the little dimpling and whatnot. You know, there's some fucking ants or termites down there, and they're moving so into I can hear them from up here. They're like carrying little twigs and shit around. Let's go check it out. Hey, aren't they not so bad? They're kind of cute. Look at this. Look at these little blue, these icy blue crasslas everywhere. Look at that. Little clumps. And that guy. Look at it. Look at that. I swear to got to be like 9,000 species of crassla in the Maquilane. Actually, there's only probably 60 or 70, but still, there's a lot. Very species-rich genus here. Oh, and they're just going into bud. Dude, look at those. Those inflorescences emerging. Crassula deltoidea. Look at that. All covered with the scales and a little uh, dimpling and, uh, and uh, warts and what the shit. Look at it. Just coming up right on the quartz. Look at it. There's a little guy down there. What's he moving? What are you moving? Huh? What are you doing? Where are you taking it? Where are you taking it? Are you collecting leaves off this composite? Is that what you're doing? That's nice. It kind of sounds like sizzling. Do you guys, uh, are you guys all one, uh, one collective mind? Is that how that works? Look at another beautiful weirdo. He's a geranium, obviously. Look at that fruit. Little bird beak fruit, little erodium fruit. A succulent bonsai. You don't like it when you say that though. A succulent bonsai geranium. What a banger. What a weirdo. Monsonia crassicollis. See that? And those, those spines are just modified petioles. The leaf falls off and the petiole just turns into a spine. Look at that guy. Look at it. Look at those fuzzy sepals. There's a flower open. Look at that, bird beak fruits, fuzzy sepals, the damn Monsonia crest called this little bonsai geranium in the mock land. What do we got over here? Look at this, little just purple straws sticking out the ground. Euphorbia rhombifolia, there's those yellow inflorescences, those yellow cyathea, totally leafless, all right? And you got a little flush of purples in there too. You're getting protective pigments, stress pigments. You know, I've never seen it before. This Literally this whole hillside is just quartz. There's no granite. It is all just quartz. It's a whole mountain full of quartz. A whole mountain of quartz. With little chrysalis hiding everywhere. Got another little chrysala sticking out. Even more interesting and bizarre, a little Haworthia. Just ensconced within that uh, that quartz soil right there. How does he do it? How does he do it? How does he do it? God, how do things adapt to growing in this? What a weird substrate. What a weird substrate. What a weird climate. It's cold as shit right now. The sun went down. The wind picked up. 
Look at that. Aloodendron. Look at that massive trunk. Holy shit. What a beast, huh? Like, uh, like a bunch of lard-filled pizza dough just uh, laying out, you know, flopping over a Formica countertop. Kind of sparse up top, though. Looks like people people been cutting that or what? Or is it just natural attrition? I don't know. This guy just keeps uh, keeps getting knocked back, then re-sprouts. Looks like one of those succulent senecios, those succulent members of the uh, Asteraceae. Senecio sarcoides, maybe. Anyway, look at it. Look, how many marvels of evolution are out there hiding amongst the quartz of Namaqualan? Imagine all this. Imagine all the good stuff out there. Holy shit! Look, look at that guy. Artist formerly known as Avonia, now uh, Anacampsaros. Excuse me. Got crassulas every which way. This guy fell out. You put him back. Stick him back in there. Stick him back in there, and I just put some racks over him. There you go, you're not gonna go anywhere, you just gotta wait for some soil to accumulate. Look, this, the fucking soil is just quartz sand. It's just a bunch of little quartz, uh, quartz pebbles, weathered quartz pebbles. Getting chilly! Sun's about to go down. I mean it this time now, that's all I got for you tonight. Go fuck yourself, bye. Namibia's only 10 miles away. You can make a run for it.